done. Watch the door. Rita, where's the lights? Oh. Off the front, Jim. Oh. Just up the left there. Where is she, Jim? I can't see him. Oh, gee! Oh. Oh. You've robbed Red Jones. Well. I'll go and turn that alarm off. Oh, my God. How did he get in here? He was being very brave, Mr. Bill. Uh, <laughs> Don, you could have stopped me in the name of... I didn't know. Are you OK? I'm fine, thanks. Oh. Anyway, first things first, check your stock, Rita. Uh, time for that later. Mavis, yes. go and put kettle on. Now, Reg, yes. uh, where does it hurt? Well, I'm all in one piece, Rita. after me I call upon these persons here present I call upon these persons here present to witness that I Edward John Sullivan to witness that I Edward John Sullivan do take thee Rita Fairclough do take thee Rita Fairclough to be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife put the ring on Edward's hand and hold it there Now, repeat after me, I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Rita Fairclough. To witness that I, Rita Fairclough. Do take thee, Edward John Sullivan. Do take thee, Edward John Sullivan. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Edward John Sullivan and Rita Fairclough. You have both made the declaration prescribed by law and made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of these witnesses here assembled. It is therefore my pleasure to tell you that you are now husband and wife. You didn't have to take this job. We were all right. Oh, no. No, don't give me any of that. You agreed to that. I consulted you on that and you said yes. I said yes because you gave me no choice. Gave me no choice. You didn't, tell it. Why? Because you're frightened of me. Because you're frightened to speak your mind. Ha. I didn't speak my mind because I could see how much it meant to you. Yeah. Well, it still means the same. And we're still going. We are going. And if you choose not to come, then let's have one thing clear at least. You choose not to come, and it'll be you walking out on me. No, Alex! Yes! I'll be the one leaving, but it'll be you walking out on me, walking out on our marriage, and I'll never forgive you for that, Ed. Never. So just, just know what it is you're going to do. Don't pretend this is about jobs or where we live, because it isn't. It's about our marriage and whether you're standing by me or whether you're walking out. Excuse me, they're wondering when you're coming through. When we're ready, Betty. So, what's it going to be? I've already said. You're walking out of me. No! What's the use? Where are you going? Well, at least we can put a stop to that pantomime out there. Ben. I'm not going. I'm not. What she says. She's not going. Right, well, I am. Alec, don't. I don't want you to go. When they ask you what happened, tell them the truth, won't you? It's not me that's walked out on you. It's you, Bet. It's you that's let me down. Will there be 
bones, you know. Well, I started loving them balls at Fellas, then she could take them all on. Fight broke out. Oh, nearly wrecked the place. The police came. I had to rescue them both from Stratford Nick. This is going to feel a little strange, Mrs. Duffield. Why is... Jesus. Hey! Congratulations. Oh! <laughs> look! <laughs> found a buyer for the house. Oh, great. Yeah, we're dead chuffed, so we thought we'd splash out a bit. Well, we've red, white, rosé <coughs> and sparkling. Uh, well, we're having beef, so... Nice red, then? Yeah, brilliant. Right. Go on, talk to her. Huh. your cocoa. You know, you're cutting off your nose, spite your face, you are. Well, it's my face. And listen, I don't want you talking to her either. No, give over. I don't beg, grudges me. Here we are, and it's uh, three seventy-five, please. Right, ta. Smash him, ta. As soon as you get better, what we're going to do is we're going to go away on holiday. How would you like that? Hey, fly away somewhere. Fly away somewhere, Hop. Me, you, and little Tom. Hey, the best holiday you've ever had. Just you, me, and little Tom. Put him to bed, and I'll hold you all night. I'll just told you. I love you, Lisa. When you're better, we'll all go away on holiday together. Deep bit, Karen. Own. You'll have to go, Mr. Barnes. Come on, Mr. Barnes, just go, please. Hurry up, will you? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I don't think you can go in. You don't tell me not to go in. It's not down to you. By rights, you shouldn't be. No, I'm telling you, I think there's something wrong. Wrong? What do you mean? I don't know. Well, they haven't got time to answer questions, have they? You don't want to get under their feet. Two, three, four. She's got the F, Doctor. Right, Jerry Pets. Would you come in, Mr. Barnes? Uh, it's my turn to sit with her. Mr. Barnes, please. What's happening? I'm sorry. We've lost her. We did everything we could do. I'm very sorry. Why don't you just sit down and talk to Martin? Really talk. Nothing happened. I've 
accepted nothing else all week. Then you can accept that he's father of our child. It's not his, and you know it's not his. It might be very convenient for you to blame Martin, but he's got nothing to do with your child. Now, for the last time, come on, leave us alone. We've got to let him go, Gail. He wants to be with me. We've got to be together for when our baby comes. Listen to what I'm saying, Gail. No, you listen to me. You stay away from us. Please, Gail, I can make him happy. You say you love him. If you did, you'd let him go, because I'm the only one who can make him happy. Please, Gail, let him go. No, for the last time, no, do you hear? Oh, please, Gail, let me go. <laughs> Unless you close your eyes. No, no, all right, I've closed them. Oh, it's cold in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I open my eyes now? Yes. I don't know what you made me close them for. You know. Well, because I'm not as beautiful as I used to be. Oh, yes, you are. To me, Maureen. You're not going to keep your glasses on, are you? Hmm? Glasses. Oh, no, no. Not if it bothered you, no. Oh. Um, just... Oops! Oh. oh, it's a bit squashy, the best, isn't it? Yes, it sort of moulds itself to your contours. Yes. Yeah, a bit uh. more giving it than I expected. Do you know, I can't believe this is happening. I keep thinking I'm going to wake up and all this will just be a dream. It's not a dream, Reg. Hmm. Do you know something? No. <sighs> My horoscope this morning, do you know what it said? No. <laughs> You're going to have a big surprise across the water. Oh. <laughs> Good Lord, that is uncanny, that. <laughs> hey, Maureen. Maureen. Yes? I can't tell you what this means to me. Having the love of my life beside me here at last. Ooh. Oh, Maureen. Oh, Mr. Holmes, oh. Oh. Can you open the door? We need Come on. Uh, Mr. Holdsworth! Just ignore it, Maureen. It doesn't matter. The Holdsworth! Are you up there? But, 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 who is it? What do they want? I don't oh. know and I don't care. Look, if you just keep nice and quiet, they'll go away. Look. You see? Maureen. Maureen! Ah! We thought you were dead in your bath. Hey! Well, there's water cascading from here down into the it's cabin. It's coming right down the walls. You come back in at my door. Ah! Red! Red! Yeah, what's happening? The bed's collapsing! There's water all over the place! Well, you better get out quick and... This bursting. This is where the water's from. Maybe this idiot water bed. Yeah, you must have drilled into it when but you when you drilled. Chilly? What's all this about chilly? Oh. <laughs> ah. ah. You you drilled into me water bed, you imbecile! Oh. My wife said it was without prejudice. A sheer speculation. No man in his right mind would keep a water bed in his bedroom. Oh. Look what you've done, you fool! I love you for this, you know. You burst this bed. You and your friend here with your your, your activity. Oh, oh Jay! Ah, come here. Gail's been waiting to see you about Nicky. Yeah, look, I've not come shouting. It's just Nicky reckons you underpaid him for yesterday. Now, it might be wrong, and I'll take your word for it, but I said I'd ask. 90p. Give her a pound. No, only if you think it's fair, Brendan. I mean, I'm on your side. I don't want him paid if you don't think he's earned it. Evening, evening. Uh, did my carpenter get here? Well, no, he... Oh, um... for heaven's sake, that's twice now. I don't believe it. Well, actually, he did turn up. Well, so why didn't you let him in? You took the key with you. Brendan? I mean, I wouldn't care, but I'm offering to pay for the damn thing so you wouldn't drag it out. I mean, could I have my key, please? Bring an ambulance. Brendan? Ken! Ooh, get Martin! Uh, ambulance. Someone's collapsed. I think it's a heart attack. I think it's a heart attack. 15 Coronation Street, Weatherfield. Can you come quick? Please. Jack! 
Where's your fiver? Add it to this. Look, I won £100. I shared it with Ivy 50 50. Look, look, sit down. Are you sure you down. didn't believe me, did you? Well, I told you you didn't believe Vera. me. Vera! What? Your Auntie Sissy's been on the phone. Auntie Sissy? Aye. Right. It's your dad, Joss. What's up with him? He collapsed. They didn't know what they could do. He's died. What am I supposed to do with a kid that doesn't even know me, Mum? You can't just tear a kid out of here because he doesn't suit you to look after him. Don't you think I've thought about all that? Don't you think he matters to me? But look at you both. You're knackered. You're too old to look after him. I don't believe it, Jack. Seriously, Mum. Just think about it. It costs money. I'd have to work to keep it going. But that's what the compensation money's for. We don't want it. You keep it to bring Tommy up. A few lousy grand. We've managed on a damn sight less, lad. To last how long, eh? One year, two years. Then I'm relying on you to look after him while I go out to work. But I don't mind. And what are you going to live on? Mum, just think about it. I've got a lot less to give him than you make out. Look, I know it doesn't sound very fair, but at least we've got... Shut them. your trap, you. Shut up. How much is he giving you, Teddy? How much money is this joker giving you for all this? Eh? It's not about money! Who do you think you're talking to? I have watched you rob your neighbours. I've seen you take what you want. I've watched your damaged folk and never give a damn. And you're trying to tell me that you are doing all this for somebody else's benefit. Well, I hope the lie chokes you. Oh! <laughs> Hey, this is getting out of hand. You only do that no one stat. I don't want you calling me that no more, you. Tell him, tell him, tell him to bring out Tommy back. He won't, Vera, because there's nothing in it but him. Look, you caused Dory and me a lot of... Get out of my house, you! Out! Uh, no! Out! Oh, Terry, Terry. Terry, thanks for coming. Terry, I'm begging you, stop this now. Please! Yeah. I don't care about the money! Keep the money! Oh, I just want it back! <laughs> just let me up! Let me in! Get me away! Get along here, you tell! Will you get out? Oh, 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 Why did you oh. do that? You should have left me alone at a Calvin! Calvin! Oh, God! Oh, 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 oh. Come. What's happened? What's happened, Rita? Here's Sarah Louise. She's gone for Tommy, but she's going to be all right. Gail's on her way and I phoned the hospital. Told her to warn Martha. Uh, is there anything I can do? No, I don't think so, Carl. Sweetheart. Mummy's here. Sally did all the right things. She didn't waste any time. Oh, I shouldn't have you. It's all right, Ruth. You had to be Right. Come on, you two. Back in the house. Oh, sorry you didn't get any dinner. Ah, at least of me worries. See you. See you, Mummy. Hey, let me know. She goes on, won't you? Oh. Are you all right? I call upon these persons here present. I call upon this person here present. To witness that I, Samir Rashid. To witness that I, Samir Rashid. Do take thee, Deirdre Ann Barlow, to be my lawful wedded wife. Do take thee, Deirdre Ann Barlow, to be my lawful wedded wife. And now, Deirdre. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Deirdre Ann Barlow. To witness that I, Deirdre Ann Barlow. Do take thee, Samir Rashid, to be my lawful wedded husband. Do take thee, Samir Rashid, to be my lawful wedded husband. And Deirdre and Samir 
having consented to be joined in matrimony and having witnessed the same before this company, it is now my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. I make it so no. Oh, you most certainly can. Will you just listen a minute? I'm old enough to make my own decisions. What, even when they're stupid? All right, all right, cool it, Betty. Look, I'm on your side. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to stop you getting married. What the hell are we doing here for, then? Look, I wish you'd give people a chance to have a civil conversation. No, no, Vicky, it's your life, and dare say your boyfriend, dear. His name's Steve. And in about five minutes, he's going to be my husband. So you might as well start getting used to that. Yes, I know what his name is. All right, granted, him and me have had our quarrels in the past. But it's not me that's marrying him. No, no, you've chosen him, and I respect that. You mean that? Certainly I do. You're my own flesh and blood, Vicky. All I want is your happiness. Well, I'm very pleased to hear that. Aren't we, Steve? Yeah. All I would just say to you, Vicky, love, is... I'd just like to see you do it a bit different to this. I mean, I'd like to see you have a proper wedding with all your family, all your friends there to give you a good send-off. You know, a proper start to married life. Hey, here we are, lovey. Back home again. All safe and sound. There we are, love. You know, the scratches on the vets are nowhere near as deep as they were the last time. It must have put her ever, ever such a good fight. You know. oh. Who? Who's there? Mum. Oh, God. Oh, dear. What do we do? Is this how it's going to be for the rest of our lives? Yes, it is. As long as I feel I can't trust you. All right. All right. We did have a brief fling. It didn't mean anything. You were always away. Or always out drinking with your mates. I was always on my own with two small babies. He was my best friend, Liz! I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. <gasps> Well, what about the Barnes brothers, for God's sake? I mean, you didn't have two wee babies then, and all the other times. There weren't any other times. Oh, I. <laughs> oh, the pin up in the barracks, my God! They're in the barracks! No! Get out of that car! Get out of that car, you hear? Get out of that car! You know what I think, Elizabeth? You know what I think? I think I'm just a long string of men. No. I'm looking like a bloody fool, you no. dirty, stinking whore! Get out of it! between me and Liz, all right? Come on, come on, Pop. Come on, Pop. Ah, come on, Pop. Yeah. Come on, Look, I want to talk to my wife in my own home. Yeah, Jim, Jim, Take a walk. It's no good. Take a walk. Police. Mary, please, please, hurry. Number 11, Carnation Street. Come on, come on. Come on, Jim, you're being stupid. Come on, come on, Get off me, Tony. Hey, you all right? Yeah, come on, he's round the back. Come on. Yeah. I wish I got as much attention. You need tuning up as well, do you? Come on in, Liz! One way or another! Open that bloody door! Open that bloody door! Open that door! You get away! Kevin! What's he doing? Call the police, so! Hey, Jimmy! Come on! Keep away from me! Keep away from me! Or I'll kill you, so help me God! No! 
Oh, oh, I don't know. It's not like it was last time. Do you think you are starting? Honest, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh I do. Oh, I do know. Well, who should we call? Well, if it is, it's going to be ours yet, isn't it? And it's probably not, so... Uh... Do you want a doctor? Oh, no, no, a cab more like. We don't want a doctor, do we? We want a midwife. They know what they're doing. Oh, I'll call anybody, love. Oh, it's, it's, I've got plenty of time, but I'm still... I think I'd better get a few things ready for the hospital. Right. Right, come on inside. Now, look, you're safe here. Don't worry, Harry. Thanks. I know I've no right to do this, No, no, look, it's sorted out, all right? It's okay. Don't I'm worry. so frightened. I'm yes. sure he's trying to kill yes, me. Yes, look, we'll sort it out, Elizabeth, all right? Don't no! Worry. Listen! It's Jerry. He's trying to get yes, me. He is right. trying to yes, kill me, right. Jim! Okay, look, the first thing we do is call the police. You're wrong, sunshine. That's the last thing she'll do. I oh, know! No, get my hands on him! Bastard! You should be flipping your own, you shouldn't even be driving. I should, you know. I've just passed my test again. Have you? <laughs> hey, I passed. Oh, good. Somebody call the police, it's been a bit of trouble. And a. Uh, and an ambulance. Problem, pal. My problem? What's your problem? My wife nearly went through the windscreen back there. When? At the lights when you cut me up. I did not. You're not fit to be on the road. What's this thing supposed to be? That's a paper clip. What's it look like? It looks a joke. And so does that. What does? Look, I drive this because I work for a stationery firm. What's your excuse? Eh? On safari, are you? Mike? Taking a sick sheep to the vet? Mick? You have got a problem, haven't you? It makes you feel big, does it, this? Silly number plate, silly car. I think it's pathetic. And so's this. Here, hang on, you. Look what you've done. Will you be all right now, Don? Yeah. I won't say anything to anybody. Nobody will find out from me. You sure? Yes. 
Where are you going? Home. Why? Why? I've got to. Mike's expecting me. No, he's not there. Yes, he is. The lights are off. No, they're not. They're on. They're off. No, they're on. I can see Look, them. That's your flat. I know where you live. The lights are off. There's nobody there. So what do you want to go home for? I've got to! No, Mike's not there. He's not bothered about you. I've got to go home. Why? I've got to. I've got to. He's not there. You want to tell him, don't you? You can't wait to give him the lowdown. You must think I'm stupid. Get out of my heart, the rest of them. Please, please. They'll ring police. They'll tell them. I told you I won't. You're a liar. You're going to kill us. You deserve to be killed. Stop, you killer. You're a liar. You're a liar. You liar. And the world. Hi, it's me. Hello, my boss. Nothing. Don't be so jumpy. I was just ringing to say I'm sorry I was so sharp with you. Oh, that's all right. I never take any notice anyway. Yeah, well, don't I know it. Listen, I've just popped out and I've got a couple of steaks from there uh, just waiting to go under the grill. Wonderful. And I've opened a bottle of red wine to let it breathe. You can't beat breathing. I'd do it myself. So just you get yourself home. We'll take it from there, eh? That sounds good to me. Right, darling. See you soon. Bye. Ow! <coughs> now you know what it feels like. What it's like to only have one leg that's any use to you. Makes us about even, doesn't it? Do you fancy your chances, eh? Come on, have a go at me. Come on! I'm waiting for you. Taking a thieving now, I see, have you? Hey? Take money. It's mine, isn't it? I don't want your money, Baldwin. Oh, there you go, I don't have a use for them after I finish with you. Look, okay, Brennan. If I was you, I'd get out of here while you've got the chance. I'm going nowhere till it suits me. You're not going anywhere either. I'm giving you a, a chance. Don't be a mug. Maybe a bloke coming in here in a minute. He's a pal of mine. I'm expecting a delivery. <laughs> no, you're not, Baldwin. <laughs> that was me. I tricked you. See, I'm smarter than you, Baldwin. I always have been. Oh, yeah. You thought you had something coming to you, didn't you? Well, you have. Look, just take the money and go. I won't try and stop you. I don't want your filthy money. Money, money. It's all you live for, innit? That's what you measure everything by. That's what you measure people by. You love it, you worship it. Well, I'm not like you, Baldwin. I've got no use for it. Here. There you are. Check your money. Nobody's gonna check it out, here. You? You're gonna die. 
A rich man. I'm fed up with games, Brennan. What the hell do you want? What do you think that I want? What do you think I've come for? What do you think it's all about? How the hell would I know? And as you're off your rocker, I don't suppose you know yourself. Oh, yeah. This is Judgment Day, Baldwin. You thought you'd get away with it, didn't you? You thought you wouldn't have to pay for your crimes. An answer, a punishment. Crimes? Well, all the people that you've defrauded and twisted and swindled all these years. Um, like who? Me. You swindled me, Baldwin. Oh, we're back on that again, are we? Still flogging that tail. Look, whatever happened to you, it, it was your own fault. It wasn't only my savings that you took off me. I lost Josie because of you. Because you mocked me. Because you called me thick. Like you mocked everybody else that you used and swindled, you slimy little... Ah! <laughs> Look, I've got a disease that I'm dying of. And here's you, walking about all cocky like you own the place. There's no justice in that. There's no fairness. I could have killed you straight off, but I didn't. Because you'd never have known what hit you. Or who hit you, or why. Well, now you know. You're going to get what you deserve. But first, I want to hear you beg. <laughs> well, you're in for a long wait. No. No, I don't think so. You've got a cat outside the street, haven't you? Has he got a tent full of petrol? We could have a nice little fire in here. I'm good at fires. Come on, Baldwin. Try begging. Try groveling. You never know. I might change my mind. I might let you live. I'm not playing any more games, Brennan. You want to play games? Go back to your mates at the loony bin. It's not wrong with my brains, Baldwin. I was smart enough to get you in it first place, wasn't I? And I'll tell you that. Uh, look, you're a sick man. Get yourself back to the hospital. No, I'm never going back there. I'm not going to die in bed. I'm down my feet. On your foot, you mean. It's no good talking to you, is it, Baldwin? You got no consciousness, you got no shame. You're vermin, Baldwin. You know, but a nasty little bit of crawling vermin. There's only one day to deal with you. And that's to crush you. To smash you till there's no but a smear left. What's going on? Oh, oh God, you look awful. Well, he smashed me over the head. He said he was going to kill me. Found the police. Oh, God, he's got the keys. The car, the flat. Phone Alma. Well, don't you think the police... No, phone Alma. Tell her to lock the door, put the chain on and keep it locked. And then phone the police. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day, day. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I, I thought it would interest you. Oh, oh well, whatever was that? Well, that's no ghost, it's somebody going through the loft. Oh, Oi! Ken, Ken, be careful. Come here. Oh, Ken, be careful. I've seen you. You're in big trouble. What the hell's that? Freaking hell, somebody's watching hey? us. Can you hear me? Just get dressed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> A 
Mr. Barlow. What's going on? We were just, I was just... We were just listening to some music. Well, by hell. This is something you don't see every day. I dare say this one will take some explaining. Hey, Mr. Barlow? <laughs> 